What's up guys? Today's video, we are trying every single appetizer at Cracker Barrel. I've been wanting to do a Cracker Barrel video for a while, but I have been very nervous to do one, to be honest, because I've only had Cracker Barrel maybe like once or twice, and I wasn't a big fan of it, but I do love appetizers. I am a big apps girl, so I thought maybe I would like their appetizers. So I thought, let's do a big taste test. Let's try them all and see if I like them. I did go ahead and place my order online, but I did a little bit of a screw up so I placed my order about 40 minutes ago and whenever you place your order there's a big button that says place order so I clicked place order and I thought that my order was placed well whenever I got to Cracker Barrel I was in the curbside pickup and I went to go press the button that says I'm here but nothing was there it was as if the order was never placed well it turns out it wasn't because after you click place order it brings you to another screen that looks like the order is placed but then you have to click finalize okay so you have to click place order then you have to click finalize which makes no sense to me yeah that was very bizarre i think that's really confusing i feel like whenever you hit the button place order it should place the order but anyways i'm gonna wait for this order to be ready i got about 20 minutes to wait so i will be back once we have the food a few moments later all right you guys we have secured our cracker barrel order and the food looks so delicious I took a little peek inside. It definitely gives country vibes for sure. Like look at the packaging. You got like the blue picnic pattern, not that that's called picnic. I think it may be like gingham or something. Okay, so I see like a variety of sauces. I'm gonna have to figure out what all of these sauces go to, but I'm gonna go through each item kind of one by one and try them and I'll tell you guys exactly what it is. So I think the first thing I'm gonna start with is the white cheddar cheese bites so these are lightly breaded white cheddar bites deep fried to a golden brown served with buttermilk ranch for dipping okay let me find the buttermilk ranch i believe that is this right here so here is the white cheddar cheese bites they look really good i mean they honestly look like cheese curds that you get from a fast food restaurant maybe like the freddy's cheese curds but let's try it without the ranch first Ooh, that ranch is chunky Okay, we'll try it without the ranch first. Okay, these 100% remind me of Freddy's. They're very salty like the Freddy's ones. Mmm. Okay, I don't know if the ranch is my cup of tea. I'm not like a big buttermilk fan, but... It's not bad. These cheese curds are super good though. If you don't like a lot of salt, then I don't think you'd like these, but <laughs> besides the saltiness, I do enjoy them. I really wanted to try some this on my camera. So initially I was going to get just a bunch of items off their menu and do like a big taste test with some of their entrees, but I could not figure out what entrees to get. And honestly, their appetizers did just look way better to me, but if there's an entree on their menu that you guys want me to try, I could do another Cracker Barrel video in the future and try some of their entrees. I don't know we'll see okay so those were the white cheddar cheese bites again they're very similar to freddy's so if you like freddy's i mean these are pretty good i don't think they're going to be my favorite appetizer at the end of the video i think i'm going to rank them from like best to worst i don't see these ranking too high okay next up we have i believe these are the fries okay yeah so these are the loaded steak fries these are classic steak fries topped with creamy cheese sauce chopped bacon and shredded colby cheese comes with buttermilk ranch for dipping again with the buttermilk ranch <laughs> their ranch just has such an interesting flavor okay these look delicious i think we're gonna have to use a fork for these bad boys but oh my gosh smell is amazing you guys know i love french fries i love anything potato like oh my gosh they gave me 
lots of silverware Ooh, now i got extras for my car i love that but yeah i'm just a really big potato fanatic so these will definitely rank high i believe as long as they executed them well which it's very hard to mess up potatoes very hard to mess up fries unless you have like a bad oil that you're frying it in or i don't know i'm not super picky with fries okay here's a really good bite we got one of the fries lots of cheese and bacon Mm. you know what it tastes like it tastes just like those potatoes that you get from the grocery store the loaded potato skins drop a thumbs up on this video if you love the potato skins at the grocery store that used to be one of my favorite snacks growing up because my dad loved them so my mom would always get them and make them for us and my dad oh my gosh they were so good that is exactly what these taste like. Even the fries. The fries remind me of the potato part of those skins. These are a lot better with the buttermilk ranch. The buttermilk ranch didn't really go with the white cheddar cheese bites. Whereas with the fries, I feel like the buttermilk ranch just complements it way more. <laughs> Well, that's pretty good. If you like fries, this is the appetizer for you. Mm -mm -mm. Also, something that I had heard about that I didn't know was true or not, but now I can confirm. Cracker Barrel sells alcohol now. Which is so crazy to me because down here in the south you have people who are very very religious that won't go to restaurants that serve alcohol so a lot of them would come to Cracker Barrel because they didn't serve alcohol but now they do. So now I wonder if those people <laughs> still go to Cracker Barrel or not. I don't think they serve anything crazy but on the menu I saw wine, beer, I wonder if they have like crafted cocktails. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I love me a good cocktail at a restaurant. I'm not like a big drinker. In college, I I definitely was. Not that I was like purposely a big drinker, but you know, in college you go to parties, you hang out with friends, like you're of age in college. So it's just one of those things that you do in college I would say a lot more but at a certain point I just gave up alcohol I was gaining so much weight from alcohol and I did not like that so I don't drink much anymore especially wine beer I never drink which I do miss wine I will say I miss wine but um <laughs> I mostly just love a good cocktail now bring me to a nice restaurant for a dinner I'll have one maybe two cocktails maybe I'll make a cocktail at home but only like one you know and that's that's like my favorite Okay, this is a dessert, so we're going to save this for last. This is their beignets. Mm, the beignets are really what pushed me to do this appetizers. Okay, what is this? The fried pickles. Okay, let's see. It says, enjoy lightly breaded golden fried dill pickles served with buttermilk ranch for dipping, perfect for the table or just yourself. I do love me some fried pickles. There's a bowling alley in my old town. That I used to go to occasionally with friends and they had some of the best fried pickles oh my goodness these look pretty good I feel like this is gonna be another item that actually goes well with the buttermilk ranch but how yummy do those look there we go up close Okay, I think I actually like these more than the fries. Just like taste wise. These go even better with the ranch than the fries do. I feel like this buttermilk ranch was made for these pickles. They complement each other so well. These are very zesty because of the pickle, but then the breading on the outside kind of calms it down. They are very greasy, but 
I do like that breading on the outside. It has a little bit of like a peppery taste. It's like a very crunchy breading though. Kind of like a light crunchy breading. Oh, those are good. Okay. I already know the fried pickles are going to score very high. Okay, the fourth appetizer on the menu, these are the loaded tots. Our hash brown casserole fried into crispy bite-sized tater tots loaded with bacon pieces, melted cheese, served with a buttermilk ranch. Ooh, I can't wait. Wait, what does it say? Our hash brown casserole. Interesting. That actually sounds really good. Okay, these look fantastic. Let's try these without the ranch, actually. Let me get with the cheese and the bacon oh the cheese is like stuck <laughs> it just is sticking to the other one so it's not coming but there we go oh my gosh these are amazing these are like tots on steroids look how big that tater tot is I mean, I don't have like a smaller tot to compare it to, but just take my word. It's a big tot. Wow. Let's try it with the buttermilk ranch. I do think just based on the fries, it's going to taste good with the buttermilk ranch. Mm. Okay. It is pretty good with the ranch. I do think the fries and the pickles go better with the ranch, which is weird because fries... And tots are both potatoes, but the tots do taste just a little bit different than the fries. Like the fries, again, they taste like a very crispy potato skin, whereas the tots taste more of like a hash brown. Very delicious though. It's going to be really hard trying to decide, like, do I like the tots better or do I like the french fries better? I feel like those tots would be a really delicious appetizer for, like, a brunch. And then the fries would be a better appetizer for, like, dinner time. So, yeah, I think that's a good conclusion. <laughs> Okay, I gotta say, this is so much fun. I love trying all of these different foods. And again, I am such an appetizer lover. So trying all these different appetizers, I'm obsessed and everything is so good, which it's hard to mess up appetizers. I feel like unless you're at a fancy restaurant and they try to do fancy things, but I feel like at places like Chili's, Applebee's, Cracker Barrel, most of their appetizers are pretty good. Okay, so these are the beignets you guys i am so excited to try these okay so the exact name is the biscuit beignets they are made with our buttermilk biscuit dough deep fried then tossed in cinnamon sugar served with butter pecan sauce for dipping okay finally something that isn't ranch <laughs> not that i didn't like the ranch it was good with some of the sides but you know we got to get a sweet dipping sauce oh my gosh okay that's looks amazing I can't really show you guys because I don't want to spill it in my car but wow that looks amazing it smells so good oh my gosh I'm so excited about this let me try to do it over. okay they are so warm and pillowy look at this okay I cannot wait to bite into this wow this is gonna be amazing very thick coating of that cinnamon sugar powder like very thick Oh my gosh okay wow these are deadly like super deadly
those are amazing they're like the perfect amount of sweet but also not savory but if you guys know like the taste of a biscuit or like a scone maybe i'm trying to think of what i can compare it to for like different regions of the world that call things different but just think of like a biscuit or even just like bread in general you know bread doesn't really have a taste it's more about like the texture i would say i mean it does have a taste but y'all get what i mean it's a very mild flavor so this just does really really good at making that mild flavor a little bit sweeter with the sugar the texture is absolutely phenomenal so soft and pillowy like whenever you bite into it i gotta say it's like absolute heaven it's honestly like biting into little sugar clouds <sighs> Mm. I'm not going to rank each individual appetizer on a scale of 1 to 10, but if I had to give anything a 10, it would be these. These are a 10 out of 10, 100%. Wow. Okay, now let's rank everything in order of favorite to least favorite. I kind of feel like it's not fair for me to include the beignets in the ranking because, like, these are so good. I would have to give the number one slot to these for sure, but, I mean, I just feel like it's hard because these count as a dessert. But, like, if I had to say out of anything what was the best, I would say the beignets. Like, these are so delicious if you want something sweet. Like, wow. For breakfast get these if you want like okay picture this you come to cracker barrel for breakfast or brunch you get a very savory meal but you kind of want like a sweet treat because sometimes when gabe and i get breakfast we'll get savory meals and then we'll get like one big pancake for us to split this is that pancake okay so if you want like a little sweet treat to your savory breakfast definitely get these Number one, 10 out of 10 for sure. Out of the savory items, my number one I think would have to be, God, this is hard. Probably the fried pickles, but also like, I do really like the, um, the fries. The loaded fries were so delicious, but then the fried pickles I think went better with the buttermilk ranch. So I think if I had to choose my absolute favorite, I gotta go with my, my fries because I just love potatoes. I think if I were to get the fried pickles, I probably would only have a few of them, whereas the fries I would really keep munching on. But fried pickles, definitely a close second for sure. Coming in third would be the tots. Now again, I think these would be really good for brunch. If you want an appetizer for like breakfast or brunch, I think these are more of a brunchy item as opposed to dinner because they do taste very similar to hash browns, but these are still really, really delicious. So I don't like to put them in third, but you know, that's just the ranking we're going with. Okay, so the loaded toss were actually the best leftover. I tried all the entrees again leftover and the tots, I finished the whole container. They were so good. I mean, just eating them cold, I don't know what it was. They were amazing. I want to say they were even better cold than they were whenever I got them at the restaurant, but... Those loaded tots, wow, they are so delicious. Last up, I'm gonna say the white cheddar cheese bites because these taste very much like fast food cheese curds. You can just go to a fast food restaurant and get these, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can totally do that. You don't have to get them from Cracker Barrel. They're good, but they don't really go with the ranch. I would probably skip the cheese curds. Not to say that they aren't good, because they are, but at a place like Cracker Barrel, I just wouldn't get these. So, that was all five appetizers from Cracker Barrel ranked. Again, guys, let me know if there's an app, not appetizer. <laughs> let me know if there are some entrees at Cracker Barrel. That is such a tongue twister. I feel like whenever you say it over and over and over, Cracker Barrel, if there are any entrees here that you think I just have to try, let me know what they are and I can do another video here. And even just like any restaurant, let me know what restaurants you guys want to see. We don't really live near many of them, at least not in this town. We can drive to other towns to get to them, but in our like small little town here, we don't have Applebee's, Ruby Tuesdays, really any steakhouses. We have a local steakhouse that is 
fire but not any of the chain restaurants or anything like that so let me know if there's any restaurants that you would like me to drive to and do a video at maybe try all of their appetizers I don't know let me know what you guys want to see saw some of y'all's comments and you're like do stuff besides fast food so I do try every now and then but if you guys want to see more I can try to do more but I love you guys so much thank you all for watching please drop a thumbs up down below and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys